Hello. Uh, good morning. Uh, it's Friday, the 10th of January 2020. I am Thekla Petridou, a psychologist in Lanothor. And this every Friday at 1 p.m. Cyprus time or Greece time, I upload a video in English on my YouTube channel. Today's subject, I think, is very interesting and it might uh, be proven helpful to many people who are, are in relationships or marriages. Moving on from an emotional trauma in, in our relationship or marriage. What is an emotional trauma? What's the first thing that comes to your mind, that pops to your mind when you hear the term emotional trauma in my marriage or in my relationship? I'm sure that, mo that most of you might think about infidelity. Actual infidelity or emotional infidelity? This is not the subject of today's video. The subject of, to of today's video is about psychological infidelity or betrayal of the one partner to the other. When your partner, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend do not believe in you, they do not believe on your narrative of your experience in your marriage, in your relationship, and in regards to other people, the environment around your relationship. They might be acting in a way of um, gaslighting you. You might be in your relationship stating that I do not like the way your mother treats me and your boyfriend or girlfriend might say no, my mother treats you totally fine. It's in your imagination. Or you are very sensitive. Or um, you did not understand well. Um, or even worse, when your partner, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, they side with your enemies. Whereas your enemies, your enemies might be any toxic people in your surroundings. Your enemies, in brackets, might even be your own parents, or your own siblings, or your in-laws, or toxic people around the, the couple. We have all those mama's boys, or mama's girls, or papa's boys, or papa's girls, um, sissies, allies, allies, bros, allies. Uh, wh what happened? What happens? when your partner is acting as a flying monkey of toxic people in your life. This is a very common scenario in the relationships of people I work with. For those of you who haven't heard of me before, I'm a Cypriot psychologist. I've worked for 20 years with adults and couples in my private practice. And as of three years ago, I quit uh, my private practice and I'm being a writer, an author in Greek uh, for the time being and I hope in the future that my books will be translated in English too and also a YouTuber. I have worked with um, literally thousands of couples, a couple of thousands of couples and uh, in the last uh, five years I've received um, over 15,000 of emails from people around the globe, usually Greek people, Greek people living in the US or living in Australia or living in mainland Greece or living anywhere, who talk to me about their life struggles, about their relationships problems and the issues they, they, they have, they confront every day in their lives. Recently, uh, last no, uh, the 24th of October 2019, last October, um, one book of mine was published by the Greek publishing house Psychoios with the name Psychologikos Polemos in Greek, which in English means psychological warfare. In that book, which is the first book in English that depicts uh, some of the um, aspects of psychological warfare, such as gaslighting, such as shaming, such as um, codependency, stuff like that. Um, there is a, a very uh, var a very big variety of uh, examples 
from people I've worked with or I work with currently through my YouTube channel of people struggling with psychological warfare uh, in their lives and with toxicity in their lives. Um, nowadays, we have new names for stuff that were happening all along. Okay. I do not believe that toxicity is a symptom or a sign of our times. Toxicity in human relationships has been there all along, since the beginning of relationships of people, of, of humankind history. But the good thing uh, is that nowadays, the last couple of decades, we have names and we have terms to use in order to understand better our uh, behavior our feelings and what happens in our relationships. So when my husband or my wife, when my girlfriend or my boyfriend is, um, is being traumatic emotionally and psychologically towards me by not understanding what I go through, by being a victim of toxicity around me, or when they try to make me think like, um, that I am not well, that I'm not sane, when they do gaslighting to me, when they use gaslighting techniques, on when they side with my, with toxic people who fight me, on when they even become the flying monkeys of narcissists or toxic people around. What do we do? How do we feel? It's an uttermost betrayal, honestly. Um, when I was younger, and more naive and less experienced as a psychologist and as a woman, I thought that the uttermost betrayal a man or a woman can perform in a relationship is to have an extramarital or an extra relationship, uh, relationship to have infidelity on you. Nowadays, after seeing thousands of people, literally, and after talking with other thousands of people, literally, or uh, not really by talking through YouTube and answering emails, I've come to the point to think that the uttermost behavior uh, betrayal by your um, partner is not to be um, to, to have sex with somebody else than you. The uttermost betrayal is to side with your enemies. It to side is to side with toxic people in your life. Now that I'm thinking about it. I think that the uttermost behavior is when your partner is being the toxic person in your life or the narcissist in your life or uh, the victimizer in your life. That's the uttermost behavior. But the second, the second, uh, the second betrayal that comes after that is uh, when your partner is a codependent person, is a flying monkey, is somebody who does not understand what you are going through and adds up to your emotional trauma with misunderstanding you, with minimizing uh, your feelings, downsizing your feelings, uh, acting in ways that make you feel like you're crazy by exercising gaslighting techniques on you. How do you overcome this emotional trauma? It's very difficult. The first step to overcome this emotional trauma is for your partner to understand and realize that she or he is causing you this trauma. To realize that his or her behavior is causing you psychological burden. I know of people that have tried hard in their relationships to prove themselves right to prove to their partner that they are not crazy and they failed. They failed so much to the point that they lost themselves and they felt that they do not longer know who they are. I also know of other people who were in more suitable relationships, in more um, matching relationships, in relationships with people that they had a decent level of communication and they tried hard to explain to their partner that I am not crazy. I'm not talking out of oversensitivity. I'm telling my truth that I feel bad. I feel really bad 
when you side with my mother-in-law or my father-in-law or when you side with my mother or when you side with my father or when you side with your sister with your brother with my sister with my brother when you agree uh, and you note when someone in our environment is mocking of me when someone is making bad jokes on me when somebody bad mouths me and you my partner do not stand up for me and do not tell them off because one crucial element of being in a relationship of being husband and wife wife and wife husband and husband girlfriend and boyfriend boyfriend and boyfriend girlfriend and girlfriend any any any, any mixture of relationships the the first point is that we become a unity you and i are one we are a couple and we are together and we are a unity as if one person even if we are married or not for those of you who are really religious i'm sure that you have t- uh, you went to church and you had a, 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 a religious wedding a religious uh, wedding other people might be living together or might have um, another agreement or whatsoever but when you are in a relationship in a romantic relationship in a love relationship you decide that my my uh, problems are your problems and your problems are my problems and my rights and wrongs are your rights and wrongs etc and when somebody attacks me it's as if he or she attacks you as well this is a very primal uh, concept of being a couple that we are a unity against people trying to break us and you you, you must have understood by the terms i use like in laws um, uh, step siblings whatever that i talk about families most of the time or toxic friends that they are around the couple and they may be envious of the couple they may have a hidden agenda or not they might be plain envious people who are envy of everybody there are this kind of people around us or people that are very miserable with their own lives and they don't like to see people being happy around them and they want to stop their happiness you know there are some some people such people who have like I don't know intolerance to happiness or people who are plain stupid plain stupid and bad people and they just like and enjoy to make other be- people be- feel bad you know there are lots of bullies going around going around and diagnosed as i say in my greek vlogs that there are a lot of people with personality disorders that they really do own a personality disorder like narcissistic personality disorder for example but they are not diagnosed they do not know it they do not accept it no clinical psychologist or psychiatrist have ever had has ever tested them and given them a diagnosis so they are undiagnosed amongst us and they work in our lives and they 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 spread they spread uh, bad bad toxic feelings around them so the first step in order to overcome the emotional trauma of your spouse or your partner siding with your enemy is for your partner to understand to realize what he or she have done even without understanding it at the time that it was being done. The second step is to be able and be willing to work with you. To work with you to go to to talk it out and take and even take professional help if your relationship is in danger. Because many people, many people, they do not realize how important are such traumas, emotional traumas in their relationship. They say it's okay, it's a fight, we're gonna get over it, we will overcome it, it's nothing big, no biggie. And then after a couple of years, your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend leaves you. They break off the relationship and they say, I cannot stand it any longer, I do not love you anymore. Why do people stop loving us? Why a wife or a husband or a girlfriend or a boyfriend might stop loving their other half maybe maybe one reason is because they got repetitive 
traumatic experiences by their spouse or by their partners and they did not get any um, comfort from their partners asking sorry and truly meaning it and doing stuff in order to help the trauma heal the emotional trauma heal I've been in the really difficult uh, situation many times in my private office and honestly this is one of the basic reasons that I stopped being um, an active psychologist that I'm not seeing people anymore I've been in the very difficult position to notify a wife, a husband a boyfriend, a girlfriend that she or he do not longer love you because they've had enough. They've had enough and it's ha it has come the time that they can no longer take anything, not even a kiss from you, not even a sorry. I've seen it so many times in my practice, so many times. And I've seen people collapsing. And usually the ones who collapse are not the ones that are... Half, uh, are um, are taking the decision to end the relationships. The, one who the ones who collapse are the ones that they were traumatizing the other part and they wouldn't realize it or they wouldn't think seriously of it or they wouldn't listen to their spouse or their partner when they were giving them warnings. I cannot stand it any longer. It's too much. You keep doing this behavior that is making me feel sad and happy. You are traumatizing me. So through this video, I would like to make this clear to people who are watching. I don't know if your girlfriend has given you this video to watch or your boyfriend has given you this video to watch or your partner, whatever, that if you are being in a position that without even realizing it, you are siding with your partner's enemies, please, please reconsider, please. Listen to your partner carefully. Listen to their warnings. Listen to their anguish. Because when you are in love and you are in a loving relationship, you feel that everything is possible. I mean, I can, we can have fights, we can have minor problems and we'll get over it. No, no. There are some behaviors, some repetitive traumatic behaviors when you act in a way that you disregard your partner's feelings, emotions, emotional needs, and even on purpose or not on purpose, you keep traumatizing them emotionally, these things sometimes, most of the times, they lead your partner to stop loving you. And when they stop loving you romantically, they will end the relationship or you will end the relationship because there is no reason to remain in a love relationship if love is gone. So how do we overcome emotional trauma from our partner when they realize it, when they ask sincere sorry for the trouble they caused us and where they are will and when they are willing to talk it out and talk about it for as long as we need in order to find our emotional balance in the relationship. And if within the couple it is not easy and or, or it's uh, being it's too stressful or it's not working out talking with themselves or reading for example some very nice books you can find a lot of um, uh, helpful books in English to read about how to mend uh, relationships. If you cannot do it by yourselves, then please do ask the help of a therapist. Because emotional trauma is even more difficult to heal than physical trauma, even though we cannot see it with our plain eyes. So please, since you want your relationship flourish since you want to be with your partner please take care not to cause them any traumatic experiences not to side with their enemies not to take um, the side of people who are toxic in your lives 
and listen, please, listen to your other half when they are complaining and they are saying they've had enough. Because one day they will have enough and then you won't like it. Sorry, I, I sound like uh, giving a warning, isn't it? It's part of my job. I, I read I wrote an article in, in Greeks in Greek ones that I was saying um, the, the that had this title the gifts of Cassandra. Cassandra was uh, an ancient Greek um, medium that she used to predict bad stuff and nobody would like to hang around with her because every bad thing she said happened. Sometimes. I, I feel like uh, sharing some of my experience with people on YouTube from my experience in the office and what I've seen with couples in order not to frighten you, in order to give you some stimuli to take better care of your relationships. Thank you all for watching the, this video. If you liked it, you can put a thumbs up, a like on the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel. And every Friday at 1 p.m. a new video in English is uploaded on my YouTube channel, 1 p.m. Cyprus time, which is um, 11 a.m. UK time.